Hello and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. Uh, this is Jay Rodman. We're currently exploring level 2 of the Ice Keep immediately upon finishing exploring level 3 of, well, sorry, level 1 of the Ice Keep. Uh, here I'm verifying the layout, trying adjusting the indexes of the locations in case I have to cast Christ Fate later, like if I get teleported or confused. Um, anyway, uh, this is going to be another sort of mapping only um, dungeon experience. And part of the reason for that is, well, you'll find out soon. Yeah, I'm just doing the basic map, you know, set up, copying our key and our indexes up to the second level. Yeah, if they were very regular indexing scheme, like start in the lower left-hand corner and count up both to the up and the right, the mapping software can deal with that for us. But um, when the origin is in the middle of the map, or at least offset from a corner, it can't get the numbers for us, so I'm doing them on myself. And then... Immediately, I start finding out that there's, well, there's a fight here, but uh, as I start looking north, I start identifying there is a lot, a lot of status squares. Um, eventually, I'll real find, identify that there are squares that have so many status effects in them, I have no way to record them with my current scheme and the current mapping software. I can only have one token uh, per cell. And one note. Well, no, sorry. You can have an arbitrary number of notes and one label. So you have a token and a label. So like a word and a picture. And if I have four different things. Oh, I can even also have a field. So I could have like red and green fields. And some of them are red and green. But uh, if it's like a trap and a spinner and an odd, all of which I'm using symbols for, I'm kind of screwed. So you can see I start giving up and saying things like lots. A pretty close call, Elena gets down to 57 hit points. Uh, I underestimated the cult mages again. I think this isn't the last time for this episode. Thank you. 
question that immediately popped into my mind as I mapped this section is what is that you know walled off square in the corner how how does you how do you get in there So this will be the first time where I start using phase door on what I know is an interior wall and get a fizzle. Uh, it would be pretty likely that in the festering pit this would have happened a bunch, although I got kind of quote unquote lucky. Anyway, so I couldn't get past that wall with the phase door. I tried teleporting past it, which worked. And then I found myself in a one by one by one room. Well, one by one room with a one way wall leading out. I was like, Whoa, what?
where I hit about 12 hit points on Chanterelle, I think. Not properly respecting the sleep mages. Now you're starting to get the general picture among the special squares. There's a row of odd and other odd squares and other things on the low side, on the south side, and then an east to west row of mega combo status squares um, a little farther north, to the extent that I started to dread going over there.
Now, in this fight, we get a master key. I don't know what the master key is used for in this version of Bard's Tale. Uh, I probably should know, but maybe I forgot. Um, it didn't do anything when used, which is unsurprising, but probably we're going to need it later to get into something. I may leave it banked for a while. Low on health and low on uh, magic points, I decide to resort to the old bard song healing for a bit. Here I make some sort of keyboarding error and get awfully confused. Well, the confusion happens after the fight. Though I will say I like that I picked up a dragon shield, which I think just lets you do a fire breathe attack as a warrior and it's only got one charge but hey it's just as good as the shield I already had as a shield and it sounds cooler All of that, my rogue gets a shield upgrade. Quite a bit of industry or uh, inventory juggling. At this point, I've realized I've gone west through a wall. And my first question is, why didn't I see the secret door? What what happened? So I, I, ca I cast a light spell again to make sure my light spell hasn't been compromised. And then fail it, finding that there, my light spell hasn't been compromised and you just can walk through a wall that doesn't show as a door at all so it's a sort of double secret door I make a new symbol for a secret door to mark and realize from now on I'm going to have to try manually walking through every wall
West corner seems to have a rather larger slice missing from it uh, as compared to the southeast corner. And in fact, the auto map behaves very strangely and not all of the walls are shown as if there's no wall between where we are and the northwest corner. Teleporting in doesn't work. Uh, I actually try phase dooring in from all the possible walls and teleporting to all the possible locations of the three. None of them work. So eventually I decide to mark that area as sort of out of bounds, which I think is true. I think the three corners all have bites out of them. And I think this is somehow supposed to be suggestive of the three towers, but it is poorly explained and rather weird. But then again, this whole level is kind of weird. Camtasia decided to crash, so there's a bit of a gap. Uh, I let the game keep running and I used uh, Ram of Duo time, so the spell points jumped up a bit. And then not too long after this, the emulator crashes, so uh, the windows will probably jump around a little bit.
up the walls because I left the color black from doing the corner and I was making all of the walls black so they were sort of some of them were mysteriously different than others and I just you know replaced them with the default color From this fight, we got a Titan plate, which is a significant upgrade over an Adamantite plate. And I am almost out of inventory space because I cleared, well, fully mapped Ice Keep 1 and Ice Keep 2 all in one session. So I embark upon the longest uh, inventory Tetris session I've been on yet. Was who, who has this and can they give it to, oh, but they're full, but oh, oh, but I need to move this to someone, oh, but they're full, okay, uh, but I can use one of these or drop one of those and then etc. It goes on for quite some time. And finally, I get to equip the Titan Plate. Grizzanox armor class goes up by three points, or improves by three points. Uh, and I can throw away the Adamantite Plate no one will ever use, and finally get on with the adventure. And here finally is our emulator crash. I mentioned a while ago, I forgot exactly when it happened. Whoops. Luckily I'd saved state of seconds beforehand because um, the symptoms had arrived. So I first saved state and then tried to fix the audio. Uh, that's why the game is in the wrong position for the moment. Oh, now it's fixed. I'm trying to break my way into the northeast corner. Again, phase door, teleport, either works. Not accessible.
And to complement the uh, passageway on the left with a spinner in a um, hit point draining spot, here we have a hit point draining spot where you get stuck and can't move. It's just all kinds of joy. At this point I'm actually in the corridor north of the lightning bolt symbol, trying to get north. I haven't updated my position on the map. I'm teleporting one north. Teleporting works. I think a phase door may not work anywhere on this map. That puts me in this three by three corridor. Uh, well, sorry, two by well, two by one corridor rather. Um, I'll fill it in in a moment. And all that's in there is spell point drain. And the only way out is teleport. So I don't know what you're supposed to do if you don't have many hit spell points when you land in there. You may never be able to get out again. And that was kind of um, the last straw for me. Partly because I knew what would happen if I like the rest of these zones that with all the special statuses. The only way to get into any of them is to teleport in. And I already know there's nothing of value in any of them because I did all this the last time I mapped this dungeon. And it would take forever to do because of all of the statuses that would be, would be afflicted with. And so recording it would be this long experience of no payoff. So I skipped it. Which rounds out level two of Ice Keep. Uh, signing off for now. Uh, join me next time when we actually look at the interesting things we found on the level one. See you.